did a video a little while ago um, using the Helltech LoRa board and uh, just doing some simple LoRa stuff. I had a request from a viewer to uh, kind of do a, a quick demo of how would you do that on a kind of a standard ESP32 uh, using one of the um, uh, ubiquitous uh, LoRa boards that, that are available on Amazon and other, other vendors. So I thought I'd do that in that video. It's going to be a, a quick one uh, today. Um, so on the right hand side, we've got the original LoRa board, which is in uh, receiver mode. And on the left hand side, I've got the ESP32 and it's hooked up to this LoRa board right here. So let's Let's just zoom into some of the connections. Okay, so here's a, a zoom up of the of the LoRa board itself, and this particular one is called the Luabi Smart LoRa, uh, and I'll include a link below to where you can get that on Amazon. Um, but there's there's plenty of boards like this, so you can see the uh, connections that I've got here. Um, from top, there's a ground connection. Uh, then the next two are not connected, and then I have the clock Miso Mossy. NSS, now NSS is the same as chip select, uh, and that basically is, is brought low to, uh, to indicate which SPI uh, slave you need to connect to. And then there are uh, three DIO pins, which are used uh, for various purposes. In this case, we're using DIO0, which basically sends out uh, a, a high when a message is read. And then finally, there is the uh, N-Reset, uh, which you bring low and then bring high to enable the chip. So just zooming out a little bit uh, to, to, to see that uh, with, with respect to the connections. Uh, the only other um, connection that I forgot to mention is VCC, and that uh, is simply connected to 3.3 uh, volts uh, on this board. Okay, so here's a quick sch schematic of the uh, connections between the uh, LoRa board and ESP32, and you can see on the ESP32 using pin 19 for clock, pins 35 and 32 for MISO and MOSI, uh, pin 14 for chip select, which goes to the pin called NSS on the LoRa board, and then I'm using pin 12 uh, for DIO0 and 13 for reset. Now you can uh, th these pins aren't, you know, aren't fixed. You, you you can pretty much use most of the pins on the ESP32. Although I've noticed uh, this S clock pin, uh, you can only use certain pins for that. So uh, I've tried 19 and 5 work, um, but I actually also tried 33, I think, and that did not work. So so anyway, so these are the connections. Uh, now, the other thing to note on this particular board, and let me just zoom in again. Uh, if it'll focus, um, I had to, uh, it, this doesn't come with an antenna, so uh, I'll include a link to uh, some of the, an the antenna that I used on this, but you'll have to manually solder that antenna on there and, uh, you know, the usual fashion, the braid goes to the ground and the center pin of the uh, center uh, con uh, conductor of the coax goes to antenna. Here's an example, one of those connections there, and if it'll focus right, and you'll see it comes with uh, one of these IPEX connections. So you just cut it off here, and this is uh, a thin but standard coax. You've got the braid on the outside and then the center conductor. The braid goes to ground and the center conductor goes to the ant pin. Uh, and then it also comes, it comes, um, there's four of these in a packet and it comes with the antenna and the, uh, and the coax. So anyway, quickly to the code and uh, there's hardly any changes at all between the original Helltech based code and uh, using the ESP32. The main difference is the pins. So here's the uh, pins for the uh, ESP32 version. And here's the original pins from the uh, use for them the Helltech board. So you can see they're slightly different there. I mean, there's no reason I could probably have used the same pins here without uh, without any problem. Uh, but I thought I'd uh, I thought I'd do some different pins to give that a go. One of the other differences, though, is uh, if you recall back to the uh, original video on the Helltech, um, I could never get the. Um, uh, that there's two output pins that uh, that are available on the on the LoRa uh, the SX 1276 IC. Uh, IC. There is a high power pin, and then there is a low power pin on the Helltech board. I could never get the low power pin working, um, 
and the only the uh, high power pin would work on the Heltec board. On this board, um, uh, the low power pin does actually work. So I was able to try kind of using the low power pin here, which is PA output RFO pin, and PA boost is the high power pin. So basically this set TX power function, uh, this is in uh, dBm. So this is 20 dBm, this is 5 dBm. So, so anyway, that's one difference. Um, and, and as I noted on the Heltec board, there appeared to be a missing, what looks like a missing... Uh, surface mount resistor on that board. Uh, not, not quite sure there though. Anyway, so I thought this might be interesting. Um, uh, the LoRa, bo uh, the LoRa um, connections do in indeed work, so uh, I hope this is helpful.